Good morning, Mrs. Watts kindergarten class. This is Mr. Ramston um, from Pleasant Hill School. I'm the junior resource room teacher and I'm just here today to give you guys a quick little tutorial a lesson on how to log into Headsprout. So your teacher, Mrs. Watts, has kindly set you guys all up for Headsprout, which is an awesome online game and learning activity to help you with your early reading skills, especially as we are moving into grade one next year. Okay, so what you guys need to do is parents and family members and guardians, if you guys have smart devices like an Apple or an Android, go ahead and check out the, the app stores in the, on those devices. Download a free app called Reading A to Z. From there, you can access Headsprout, um, Raz Kids, if you have other kids in your in the household that are using Raz Kids, and a whole bunch of other programs there. Um, so please go ahead and check that out. It's the easiest way to use it. Um, if you're using an uh, Xbox or PlayStation or any other smart device, possibly a laptop or home computer, you can follow these instructions on how to easily find log um, the Headsprout login. Okay, so using Google search is the great thing we can do here. We're going to type in reading a, a to Z um, kids login. Okay, so that's going to take us to a basic page, A to Z kids login. So this is the one you want to make sure you're going to um, reading or reading kids A to Z, they take care of Raz Kids and Headsprout and all these other different great programs. So once you click on there, it'll take you to this page here. Um, now, as you can see down here, I already have some teachers names and things set up, but that's because I've already signed into these accounts before. So when you first log in, you will not have all these classrooms, but what we want is this one here. So you'll walk into this page right here. It'll say kids A to Z. I'll have it your teacher's username. So what we want to type in there is Mrs. Watts Kinder. Okay, so Mrs. Watts Kinder, it has to be capitals in the right correct place. This is case sensitive. So we need capital for Mrs., capital for Watts, capital for Kinder with no spaces in between. Okay, so now we're going to hit go. So we know we're in the right place because it says Joanna Watts, which is our wonderful kindergarten teacher, and it has all the names of all of our wonderful students here, including the one pretend student named Kinder Student. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen just so it's a little easier for everyone to see. All right, so I'm going to hit Kinder Student, and it's going to ask me for a password. If you're looking for your password, it was provided to you by Mrs. Watts on your Seesaw account, so please contact her or check out your Seesaw account to access that. So for this pretend kinder student account, I've set up the password is bunny rabbit. So I just click that, make sure the icon is turned green and then I hit go. All right, from here, I am now officially in Headsprout. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little walk in. So when you first look at the top here, here's a little star chart. It tells you how many stars you've earned. Now, the reason I have 500 stars is earlier, I'd already been logged into this account and I had clicked on the star zone. So the very first time you click down here in star zone, you automatically get 500 stars. Here I'll have your student's name. Here's my imaginary name, Kinder Student, and a picture of my avatar or my robot character. Um, you get a chance to personalize these characters and make them your own in the star zone. And then of course we have head sprouts. So let's go ahead and click the head sprout tree. So when we get in here, there's all these different worlds to go ahead and just explore and discover. So if I hit number one here, the first level it will start me at, uh, it will take me to a level where I'm just gonna start to learn some basic letter sounds and put it blending those sounds together to start reading some new words. So as I progress on this level and move further and further and with all these fun alien characters and have adventures along the way, I earn more and more stars. Now, the more stars I earn, the further I get and the more, um, the more cool things I can do to buy for my robot. So now, so go ahead when you get in here, check that out. That's one of the first things you need to do. Other things you could possibly do when you're in here is if you have a new message, you'll go ahead and you'll want to click the message center. So here I got a message earlier, it says 500 stars for opening the avatar builder. So just for opening that, you guys get 500 stars without doing any work. Other things you might find in the messages area might be a message from Ms. Watts or Mr. Ramson. We can also reward you guys with stars. So if we notice you're doing a really good job, I, we could give up to 500 stars in one, in one message, say congratulations for your hard work. My stats, this tells you guys everything of what you worked on so far. So how many stars you have to spend, how many stars you've earned total. And here I'll have a picture of your um, robot avatar. 
that you have edited. Now, as you edit and change him in the star zone, he will change right here as well. If we go up to the top here and click badges, these are all the different badges I can earn as I complete this game. So there's different things. So for instance, when you read five Sprout stories, you get that. When you collect 4,000 stars, you get this um, badge. So lots of different things to lots of different things to earn and rewards to gain along the way. Okay, so we'll go ahead and back to home. And then finally, here's the fun part of the kids all love is the star zone. So in the star zone, you can build things for your Raz Rocket and your Avatar Builder. Avatar is your robot. That's where most of us want to go check out first. So here's my robot for kinder student. He's kind of playing right now, but I can do all sorts of different things to him. I can give him a fun helmet. Hmm. I like this one. It's like a fish tank helmet. Maybe I'll buy that. Do I want to buy it? Yes. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough stars. Okay. Oh, that's 600 stars. I only have 500. So there's different things you can go here. I'll go ahead and buy this one for 250 stars. So I can buy different clothes and you can try everything on before you go. You can scroll through and try all these different things. So you can check that out. Maybe a different top. If there's one you like, click on it and purchase it. If you have enough, if you don't have enough, it'll tell you. Different cool legs, different bottoms. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things here you can buy for your robot as you earn more star stars. So go ahead, check that out and enjoy. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about Headsprout or um, Raz Kids, please forward them to Mrs. Watts or myself. I hope you guys are all doing extra, extra well. We miss you, and we hope to talk to you soon. Take care, everyone.